Hello, and good Monday, May 7, 2012. I'm Kagan, this is Rockaboom, and I was considering giving a report on the end of all disease and famine, but I'm afraid to say the space is now reserved for a sentence or two about Scott Thompson, the CEO of Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web, now known as Yahoo, an acronym for yet another hierarchical officious oracle, who may be forced to add liar to his resume, or other epithet including shameless liar, deceiver, fibber, perjurer, for claiming that he had a degree in computer science when in fact he had a degree in accounting, as noted in popular titles such as Yahoo can't get out of its own way, now CEO's resume in question. Ex-Yahoo board member calls CEO resume scandal a catastrophe. Yahoo CEO accused of lying on SEC filings. Yahoo admits CEO falsely claimed to have computer science degree, calls it inadvertent error. Scott Thompson resume scandal is not an inadvertent mistake. He also claimed comp science degree as CTO of PayPal. Always do background checks on new hires, especially if you're hiring a CEO. How to get ahead in business without really lying. The disgrace of Yahoo. Scott Thompson is toast. All just three months after taking the CEO position from Carol Bartz, the woman ousted by Chairman Roy Bostock just two years after taking the reins from lovesick founder Jerry Yang, whose heart prevented a ruthless takeover from Microsoft, resulting in a drain to the company that's now only around half the price it was offered, now maintaining an antiquated pool of oldies but goodies, who still get their AP News via Yahoo, their Google search via Yahoo, and yes, even write blog posts via Yahoo Meme, which as an aside will be shut down permanently later this month, marking the one year anniversary of the closure of Yahoo Buzz, while now facing a new ultimatum set down by the influential and active 5.8% shareholder Dan Loeb, who is taking the opportunity to further his value Yahoo.com agenda in a proxy battle for a board seat for himself to fire Scott Thompson by today or else.